What's up, YouTube? This is Bystander X of Alright, guys, today I'm coming to my latest product opening. And as you can see, I got three of this year's Mega Tins, the 2021 Tin of Ancient Battles. This is the middle of the Pharaoh's uh, Tablet Memories, where we have the Dark Magician and Blue Eyes on the tin. Very awesome. I think we all know what's in this set, and personally, I'm just super hyped to crack these things open. So, well, this is going to be an opening battle or box battle against Momo Jerry. So, I'm going to be posting my video on my site. He's going to be posting his opening on his site. Um, watch both. And then you, the viewers, will be deciding who won. Okay? So, without further ado, we're going to be jumping right into this. I'm going to go left for right here. Get this stuff out of the way. Uh, I've been waiting so long for these tins. Just uh, do that. Okay, so, oh, okay, so normally, um, last few years they've been putting these things into a separate package, but all right, that's cool. So I'm just get this out of the way. We got three. Here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Here we go. Okay. Dogmaticism. All right, Dark Templar, Melfi, uh, Awakening of the Possessed, Rising Menu, Dice Dice, Obsessive, Move a loop. I've never seen this one before. Okay, we got a Dryden. Uh, they got the Gamma Elton. All right, they did put some of the Dryden cards in this set. I um, kind of wish they put a, a lot more of the archetype into the particular these particular tins, but we got what we got. All right, we got. Fiendish Portrait, which is another super. Uh, we have Raviel, which is one of the Prismatic Secrets. Nadir Servant, which is awesome. I already have a place at the Secrets, but alright, cool. Tri-Brigade Nerva, I've been looking for the Tri-Brigade stuff, which is awesome. Oh, we got Dragon Maid Tidying. Yeah, this is going to be very useful. Moving forward for me. Alright, so, Nobby, Wim Pegasus, at Atkinster. I was actually hoping I was going to draw this. Uh... Ravenous Krakenaurus Architeus, Rock Band, Xena Guitar, and oh, a common Jack of Blend. So that's pretty awesome right there. To be honest, Tri Brigade and Dragon Maid Titan were actually very good pulls in this pack. Of course, everybody's looking for a cross out designator. So am I. Okay, one or eight. Bellcat Fighter, another Dogmaticism, Charge into Dark World, Hide and Seek Melfies, another Awakening of the Possessed Russ and Ryu. Alright, Adam and Peter Seeker, already have the hard type, so that's not bad. Heavy Forward, already have a place for that. Fusion Deployment, awesome, Prismatic Secret. Dark Beckoning Beast, one of the reprints from the Secret Beast record deck. And then we got Virtu Virtual World. JCGG. Okay. And we got the uh, Virtual World Gate, Quinn Long. And more Muffy Rabbits. Bassimal Marisis. Hanabi. Dragoon Lamp. Horn of Ophelions. And An Emancipator Resonance. Alright, so. So far, alright. I'm pulling the stuff from the structures of the Sacred Beast ones. Alright, so Dark Templar. Melfi Playhouse. Oki Iron Core, Dice Dice, Oppressive Overloop, Dark Lord Nurgle, and Mint Picker Relief. Alright, so Infernoble Knights, enjoy use. Alright, we got Ecclesia as the secret. What's this? Oh, Relief was a. Was, okay. Piercing the Darkness. Awesome spell. I'm glad I drew this. Oh, a Doran Archosaur. Hey, that's a pretty awesome thing. And then we got the virtual world. City got another one, Pegasus, which is awesome. And then Light Dragon Atmos, Junk Sleep, and Flourishing Frolic. All right, so that's it for the first ten. Okay. I'll put the comments in this one. I'm gonna keep the comments separate for now. I'm gonna keep all the rares and hollows on the side. 
next one. Come on. There you go. All right, so first ten Nadir plus Ecclesia, not bad. Got a lot of the. Got some of the stuff from the Secret Beast structure. All right, put this over there. I'll put the comments in that. Here we go. Melfi Caddy, uh, Doyon at Anister, Deep Sea Century, B Roy Black and Roll, Cold Talker Inverted, Goki Power Old Ogre, another Seeker, another Heavy Ford. Oh, we got the Dogmatica Ashian. Okay. Pretty cool. I don't really see this card in play outside of pure Dogmatica. It's nothing to do to it. And another Dark Beckoning Beast. And we got Adam and Sid Prayer Friends. And then we have the rest. Rabbit. Tanabi. Alright. Okay, so... Alright, you know, right, light. Mutually... Melvin Playhouse, Torpedo Takedown, Penguin Bree, Arc Chat, Lightcraft, another Adam and Superior Relief, another Joy Use, Parallax Seed, pretty awesome rarity upgrade, another GG, and another Piercing Darkness. Okay. And then we got the Phoenix Fan Fan. I'm getting a lot of the virtual world stuff here. What are these tins trying to tell me? We got Lutia, Tech, Resonator Command, Charge in a Dark World, Hide and Seek, Rest and Ryu. We got Fiendish Portrait, Chaos Summoning Beast, oh, Uriah, this is a secret. Another Endure Darkasaur, Grave Digger's Trap Hole, very cool. And then we got Virtual World Gate, King Long. We got Redeemable Jar, Dharma Dropper, the Deep Sea City, Furnishing Fart, Blizzard, and Rose Girl. Okay, so that's it for the second tin. Oh boy. Oh, Great Grip Digger Tap Pro was pretty um, expensive for a bit until we got the reprint. No cross on designator, which is rough in my opinion. But we got a couple piercing darknesses, which is awesome. Okay, so Dark Templar at Instar, another Playhouse, Iron Claw, but Saw Shark, Chapping Panda, Informal Nut, Magus Ixi Import, which is the first super, uh, but from Brawl Turn Trooper. Ice Dragon's Prison. Ooh. Okay. Nice right here. Upgrade. Uh, Crossfit All Chaos. Eye Contact. And then Purple Knight Emperor Charles. And then we have Familiar. Reborn. Tactical Trooper. Sound Great Z Board X. Smell for Benny. And then that. It goes over here. All right, so Ice Ritual, Melfi Mommy, Fury of Kiryushin, Battle Survivor, Cold Tark or Inverted, Lightcraft, Warning Point is the first super. Not Division Dragon, awesome pull. Ooh, what we got here? We got Seliglare, the Luminous Lunar Dragon. Hmm, number five. Never seen this one. Normal, some, this card without tributing, but its attack becomes 1500 during main phase, quick effect, you can target one monster that your opponent controls with attack less 10, or equal to this card, return that card to the hand, and if you do, take control of opponent's monster. Okay, that's alright. Triple tactical talents, very awesome. Tri-Brigade Nerval, 
Okay, and then we got another of the virtual world cities. Joyous Melface, the QG Curry Curse, Lifeless Leafish, Inferni Doom Archfiend, Deep Sea Artisan, and Link Burst. Last pack. All right, so we got some of the chase cards out of this. IQ. Ooh, Cybers Accelerator. This was the one that I was looking at. This is one of the new imports here. Uh, basically, during the battle phase, quick effect, you can target one Cypress monster, discard points to, and activate one of these effects. You, it gains 2,000 attack until the end of the turn. It can make two attacks on monsters during each battle phase this turn, um, which is pretty damn awesome. I'm just making this guy. is just two monsters except, two more monsters except for tokens, which is just great generic. And then you can either just power boost a Cypress monster, which acts as Cold Talker, give it an extra 2,000k attack, because uh, Mountain's out of 10, you're going to be making it with Update Jammer. I'm going to put that over there. It's actually a pretty awesome common pull. Pocket Fighter. Tie Strike. Good. This Bone Warning. Okay, so we got Roland. That's the first super. We got another Dryden. Beta Rastaban. Another Dogmatica Ashian. Magician Salvation. Very awesome field spell. And Ghost meets Girl. My Akashi's Manuscript. And then Animated Peter Friends to round out the Hollows. Unveiling, Patronus, Simula, Blizzard, Rock Band, and Horn of the Olyphant. Let's just go through. Alright, so what we're going to do right now is going to do a real fast recap of what I consider the best pulls out of all three of these tins. So for the secrets, it's going to be Ecclesia and Ice Dragon's Prison. Okay. For the Ultras, uh, Triple Tactical Talents and Gravekeeper's Trap, all these were uh, very good generic cards that needed reprints because they were getting expensive. Um, also got two copies of Enamored Archosaur, as well as two copies of Tri Brigade and Revolve. And to go along with my other Dogmatica stuff, two copies of Nidir Servant, so yeah, we're getting pretty well there. Um, for the, for the World Premier cards, it was basically just two copies of Piercing the Darkness and one copy of Magic and Salvation. I consider these very good pulls because this is very good for the respective decks. Uh, for the Supers, uh, it was just the Dryden stuff I pulled. I only pulled two cards out of the Dryden, which is just disappointing, but still, it is what it is. One copy of Not Division Dragon. I like that I already upgraded on this. I needed an extra copy of that card anyway, and one copy of Dragon Maid Titan, which was the best rare I pulled out of the tins. Alright guys, uh, that's it for this opening. Um, check out Momo Jiri's uh, uh, opening on his channel, and let us know who won. It's up to you. Alright guys. As always, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more content like this on my channel, make sure to subscribe and enable notifications so you don't miss any uploads. Check out the description box below. Find the invite link to my Discord server for joining a conversation. We'd we'll love to have you. Check out my affiliates, tgbuyer.com, as well as sidekvs.com. Great resources for any Yu-Gi-Oh! player, as well as a way to support the channel. Check me out and follow me on social media. And guys, until next time, peace.